Another month has gone by, which means another update. And this past month was definitely the fastest one yet, which was really saying something because this whole experience has just flown by. But this was the most exciting month yet because we shot the film. Um, we wrapped principal photography about a week ago now, if you can tell by my voice, that's slowly but surely starting to come back. And I still just can't even believe I got to make this movie. Um, I'm so grateful to Wayfair for just dreaming big and giving five first-time filmmakers a chance in the middle of a pandemic. Who would have thought uh, this would happen, but I really wouldn't have it any other way. And I'm also just so grateful for the amazing crew that we assembled. Um, we kept it pretty small because of COVID restrictions, so most days we only had about 12 people there. And 12 people making a feature film in 10 days is an incredible feat for anyone to attempt. And I'm so thankful to everyone who saw that challenge and really rose to it. And every day we would remark at how just insane what we were trying to do was. And on top of that, how insane everything we were getting under these constraints was. You know, no matter the stress at the end of every day, I was so happy with what we had gotten. And for that, I have to give credit to two groups of people, one being my amazing DP Liz and her three person camera team who were just hustling and doing like 20 setups a day. And then also of course our incredible actresses who just kn all knocked out of the park and I'm so excited to tell you guys more about them soon. But I feel so lucky to have worked with such a high caliber of talent on my first film and they really made my job easy. Although it was never easy, filmmaking is very challenging, but I think that's what I like about filmmaking is that the challenge is half the fun, and man, we had a lot of fun making this movie. 